The era needs AI, which has nothing to do with Web3. But the explosive growth of AI will undoubtedly happen within Web3. In other words, Web3 will bring AI into the homes of ordinary people, making it an integral part of daily life, just like computers in the PC era and mobile phones in the mobile era. It is your personal assistant, carrying your memories, containing your characteristics, possessing your thoughts, and handling your daily affairs. In short, it is you. I'm Frederick, an independent thinker and content creator in the field of the future internet. We've talked a lot about Web3 already, and those interested can click on the homepage to review previous discussions, where you'll learn everything about Web3. In this issue, let's imagine what AI will look like in the Web3 era and how it will differ from past and present AI. On a delightful weekend morning, your trusty alarm doesn't beep at 6.55 a.m. since it recognizes your natural sleeping pattern, letting you sleep in until just after 10.08 a.m. You're a neat and tidy person. The robotic vacuum has already meticulously cleaned every nook and cranny of your room, making it a delight to step into the living room with a spotless floor. As April approaches its end, the temperature is slowly increasing, but fortunately, it is still mild enough to enjoy without any air conditioning, and the fan has automatically adjusted to the perfect level for you. You pour a glass of milk, add some cereal, and pop it into the microwave. Two minutes later, you have a hot drink at 46 degrees and a perfect 70% cooked steak ready for your breakfast. You call for your TV to turn on, and the latest episode of your favorite American drama starts playing instantly. Even though you missed it last night due to work, your TV remembers and knows exactly what to play. Suddenly, your friend sends you a message saying, I'm in Los Angeles. Let's catch up. Within 15 minutes, your car has automatically left the garage, switched on the external air circulation, and is waiting for you at the nearest pickup location. The music playing is a classic old song, See You, See Me, reminding you of your best college buddy and how much you miss them. All of these experiences are interconnected through your Web3 personal server, Foggy, and other smart devices. These are just a few scenarios, but I'm sure you can come up with more. Feel free to share your ideas in the comments section. Now, let's return to reality. When you think of AI, what comes to mind first? Perhaps it's the never-seen mother in The Matrix, the replicants on the run in Blade Runner, the warm and lovable Baymax in Big Hero 6, or the heroic Lucy in Lucy. Science fiction has its unique charm, with mind-blowing ideas that captivate people's hearts. If Elon Musk's brain-computer interface succeeds, these sci-fi concepts will undoubtedly become a reality. It's just a matter of time. Perhaps it's the drones fertilizing and spraying in the fields, the equipment running non-stop for 24 hours in factories, or the precision instruments diagnosing patients before surgery. As an extension of human intelligence, they demonstrate their capabilities in various fields, such as agriculture, transportation, logistics, and medicine, further liberating our hands and unleashing unprecedented productivity. However, we're just observers for most people, as these AIs are still somewhat distant from us. Apart from these, AI has also been constantly infiltrating our lives, which is the focus of our discussion today. The mysterious and bizarre algorithms on major platforms, the smart home devices that can be activated with a single click, the Siri that can be awakened with a voice command on your phone, as well as the search engines, facial recognition, machine translation, and intelligent customer service we often encounter in our daily lives, and so on. In the era of Web3, AI will become more integrated and personalized, making our lives more convenient and efficient. As AI continues to develop, it will undoubtedly become an indispensable part of our daily routines, catering to our individual needs and preferences. In the future, we might see AI managing our schedules, helping us maintain a healthy lifestyle, and assisting in decision-making by analyzing vast amounts of data. We may also witness the emergence of more advanced AI-driven technologies, such as autonomous vehicles, virtual reality, and even AI-driven scientific research which could help solve some of the most pressing challenges humanity faces. As we move forward into the era of Web3 and AI, it is essential to remain curious, open-minded, and engaged with the technological advancements surrounding us. 
By doing so, we can better understand, adapt to, and even shape the future that awaits us. Let's keep the conversation going. What other ways do you envision AI transforming our lives in the Web3 era? Feel free to share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section, and we can explore the exciting possibilities that the future holds together. Among them, conversational AI is one of the crucial artificial intelligence applications hidden behind various interactive assistants. By leveraging natural language processing and machine learning, this technology allows users to communicate with it via speech or text, enabling AI algorithms to continuously improve their ability to recognize input, understand the meaning, and even translate between languages. With its widespread adoption in various industries, conversational AI is transforming the way people interact with technology. From enterprise virtual customer service to virtual consultations on internet medical platforms, virtual assistance for mobile operators and banks, and even virtual online psychological counselors. As conversational AI offers both logical conversations and rich emotional value, it's no surprise that more and more customer service roles will be replaced by this technology. However, even so, this is not all of AI. As a product of the 1950s, it has also undergone periods of technological emergence, inflated expectations, bubble bursts and troughs, and a steady climb in the Web3 era toward the maturity of the products we hope for. At present, although AI is developing rapidly, the bubble is extremely serious because it is still too far from the general public. Here, I am referring not just to the physical distance, but more importantly, the psychological gap. One very realistic and intuitive phenomenon is, although they are all around us, we often overlook them. On the one hand, it depends on each person's understanding of AI. Most people think AI is equivalent to robots, even human-like robots, so they feel AI is unattainable and high above, thus neglecting the ubiquitous AI around them. However, I believe that broadly speaking, it is actually an aggregate of algorithms based on data, designed with corresponding mathematical formulas, and implemented through computers to achieve specific objectives. In other words, it is about how to make computers do intelligent work that only humans could do in the past. On the other hand, AI based on algorithms is highly concealed in the present. Its data comes from users, but does not belong to them, and users do not fundamentally own these AIs. Ownership is a very attractive term, even the core of Web3, which includes not only data ownership, but also the value generated by it. Therefore, the data collected by these platforms without user permission is essentially a plagiarism act, and their commercialization is a commercial crime from a legal perspective. Meanwhile, the everyday AI we encounter, such as smart speakers, have the brand's memory from the moment they are created. Even if the user brings them home, they only serve as a tool and true intelligence does not exist. Sometimes they even seem a bit mentally challenged. For example, do they know your favorite song, your favorite food to taste? When you ask them these questions, they can only search for answers in their pre-written databases. At first, you may find it fresh, but over time, you may think, aren't you stupid? Even if you are a poor, struggling Pin Duo Duo customer, when you ask it to recommend a suitable electronic product, it will ask you without hesitation, please download the XX Mall and have a look. Little do they know that TikTok is the best solution. This is the current state of centralized AI, or CEAI, in the Web2 era where its goals, technologies, systems, and services are centralized, static, predefined at design time, and user-neutral. Centralized AI presents its output as an independent system or a multi-agent system, and when a multi-agent system carries out AI tasks, centralized AI typically has a central controller, mediator, coordinator, or communicator for message passing to manage and govern agents and task execution. This leads to fundamental issues such as inflexibility, high fragility, poor reliability, low scalability, and adaptability when faced with the demands of complex real-world problems and large-scale problem solving. Although there's a wide variety of centralized AI systems, they are similar in that they are constructed around a brand-centric approach to building artificial stupidity. They do not learn, cannot generate personalized private AI from your data, and are platform service-centric lacking human attributes. In short, 
Centralized AI thinking does not conform to the personalized nature and demands and supplies of the physical and social worlds. So what should AI in the Web3 era, that is, DAI, look like? As we emphasized in the previous video, the core feature of Web3 is decentralization. Decentralized AI develops, manages, and deploys decentralized intelligence in a decentralized environment using AI thinking, methods, technologies, systems, and services. It stores, updates, shares, and exchanges decentralized intelligence among distributed agents, nodes, or devices. It integrates decentralized intelligence from local agents and across decentralized ecosystems and their services and environments to achieve higher levels of intelligence and problem solving. Specifically, this will be reflected in all aspects and different levels of AI systems. First, there are decentralized intelligent devices and agents at the edge layer. Here, each device can itself be an intelligent, autonomous agent with independent general or specific artificial intelligence functions, forming edge intelligence in terms of thinking, emotion, perception, vision, conversation, interaction, action, and decision-making capabilities. Secondly, there are local decentralized intelligent devices and agents at the node level. In the local network area, such as smart homes, these edge devices form a node or local intelligent network, which serves as a cluster of intelligent agents to achieve node-level artificial intelligence functions. Finally, there is decentralized collaboration, coordination, and communication at the end layer. Terminal agents can interact, collaborate, coordinate, and communicate on device collaboration and coordination mechanisms, communication protocols, resource management, etc., without the need to coordinate, control, or authorize device management between them. It may sound confusing, but don't worry. In short, in Web3, everyone is their own center, and everyone should have their Web3 personal server, Foggy which can be used to store their data and install corresponding application services, DEC app, which are permanent and do not disappear due to the collapse of service providers or platforms. At the same time, it is also their personal AI assistant, which stores only the memories of its owner from birth. Your lifestyle preferences, travel routes, consumer habits, etc. will all be generated through it and connected to other smart devices in your home cars, refrigerators, washing machines, TVs, meters, gas, etc., to form a partial Internet of Things, which is then mapped into your daily life. In the vast majority of cases, it will automatically help you complete your daily needs. On this basis, everyone's creativity will also be significantly enhanced. Unlike the current AIGC, or Artificial Intelligence Generated Content, the works produced by decentralized AI will conform to your characteristics rather than being simply generated. Your strokes, speaking style, etc. will leave traces here, and the works created from them will inevitably have your characteristics rather than being one-size-fits-all templates. Only in this way can the content you create be called artwork rather than monotonous AI-generated content. Currently, popular platforms such as ChatGPT, Midjourney, Disco Diffusion, etc. have already made significant improvements in intelligence, but they are still controlled by centralized servers. In these software programs, the images you generate still belong to the platform, and you do not have ownership, which leads to ambiguous copyright issues and inability to directly experience the value of the author's creation. Moreover, the large amount of data generated by these AIs poses significant challenges in terms of storage and computing power. Based on this, decentralized AI will also unleash its true potential, allowing everyone to truly own their own AI and enjoy all the value brought by their AI-generated NFTs. This value is not only in terms of material economic growth, but also includes the spiritual aspect of sustainable preservation. Many years later, when you look back on your life, you will find that your memories are all reenacted here, and you can find answers to everything about that time. Going back to the beginning of the video, I said that AI is needed in the current era, but it is not related to Web3. However, I put them together because they are not contradictory. AI is a necessary product of productivity, and Web3 is more about changing the relations of production. Its most tremendous significance is decentralizing power, allowing each user to have data ownership, and on this basis, 
decentralized AI is born, injected with personal soul, and truly serving each user, making AI truly people-oriented. Only in the Web3 era can AI become something needed by the public and used by the public, instead of being exclusive to platforms. We can imagine that in the future web era, AI will no longer be one size fits all, but will respond to each person's different scenarios and psychological states in a targeted manner. And these dialogue data will only belong to personal use and will not be owned by platforms, nor will they experience data hegemony or algorithmic hegemony as in the Web 2 era. Of course, as AI covers a wide range of knowledge in computer science, mathematics, psychology, philosophy, and more, it cannot be fully explained in one video alone. This video only explores some of the characteristics and scenarios of the next generation of Internet AI from the perspective of Web3. If you are very interested in this field, you can contact me privately or leave a message to obtain related research reports and materials, and I am very willing to contribute to everyone. Alright, that's it for this today. I'm Frederick, a creator who has independent thoughts on the future of Web3. If you are satisfied with the video content, I hope you can like, subscribe, and share it. If you have any questions or would like to discuss the topic further, please leave a comment below. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.